Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode from the Hermitcraft server. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. This episode is long overdue. I had some technical difficulties with a monitor that stopped working, and then uh, I got sick for a few days, and it's just been kind of a nightmare, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> but if you're seeing this, it has finally arrived, and this episode, as a result, is going to be kind of all over the place. I've got like two and a half weeks worth of things that have happened to show you, so we're going to be kind of jumping back and forth and looking at uh, just all sorts of different things that have happened over the last couple weeks. Um, also, I should probably mention, uh, I've been messing with my audio settings over those couple weeks as well, so the audio might be a little bit different from clip to clip, just kind of like bear that in mind. I'm working on getting it all worked out and where I want it to be, uh, and hopefully it won't be too noticeable, but just in case, uh, like, th that's also a thing that's going on. So the first thing I want to show you, uh, a while back, uh, at this point, uh, Doc had some troubles with a, a, a couple of withers <laughs> that got loose, and a bunch of us got together as a group to take them out. So, without further ado, sit back, relax, and let's jump into it. Oh, Zoom is charging in already. <laughs> I'm the bait. Uh, I go in first, they follow okay, yeah, me. Right one, is, right. one is right here, one is right here, and one is over there. A little bit. Okay, I guess we, we focus. Should, here we here we go. Should work on luring them away. Oh boy. yeah. Oh, they're after sea creatures. Yeah, but as soon as we shoot them, they. Oh jeez. How does anyone do this in the air? It's spooky. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, maybe you can stand on the platform up there what? and take some pot shots. What? I can't shoot to save my life. Maybe maybe saws better. <laughs> I'm just going with my saw. <laughs> Guys, we kind of suck. What is going it. on? Oh. <laughs> We're doing so well, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, well, it's sucky to fight them in air is the worst. I tried to melee, but then it was just going too far. Too He's fast. down about a third. Right. I've got a couple. I think I got hits. one shot in. Wait, this is he going to go underwater? Can we bring enough? this down to like the desert or something? Uh, Can we no. lead him over there. Oh, I've seen about people to fight on several hundred blocks in the air. Oh, there he okay, is. he's melee now. He's melee. So he should be going down to the ground. So lead him down. I mean, he, we need to keep attacking now. We got him, got him pretty. Yeah, down, he needs to keep I his guess. health low. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was some good shots. Whoever was that? I think Jam, right? Yeah, I got him. Somebody was on him. I'm. I suck. I. I maybe got oh, one shot. Oh, All right, he's almost down. It worked really well while he was focused on Wells. Oh, I got a shot mm -hmm. in. We almost got him. Yeah, that's it. Oh, I one thought one that was a shot. kill shot right there. Yeah. Ah, that's that's who's the last one. Uh, hey! Wells, hey. Yeah. Let's go. Ah, he, he's, he's near he's the mountain. Here it is. At this mountain, yeah. He's underwater. Is he underwater? Oh, perfect. Yeah. This is good, actually. Okay. We'll well, we're getting him on the ground. Like, <laughs> oh, he's going up now. <laughs> we're getting everything underwater, mid-air fight. This is... This is the best boss fight, you know, <laughs> Minecraft can offer. Pretty much. You know. got another. There you go, I got a few into you. Oh yeah. my gosh. Oh. <laughs> this one seems oh, to be like moving I... like <gasps> faster. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Oh no. That, yeah. Oh, I gotta hit um, it. Yes. Oh, that's why I got <laughs> set on fire. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> you flew right in front of my arrow. <laughs> he's going after me. You know, there's also a lot of debris. Oh, he's melee, he's melee. Did we get a half done? Yes, there we go, so nice. Hitboxes are a bit. <laughs> Yes, because he's going after me, I can get some weapons. Okay, here's your head, X. <laughs> That's so uh, okay. oh, it's so hard to hit. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, there's the pick. Yeah. <laughs> Sir, <laughs> please stand still. <laughs> he's, going, he's going after me. <laughs> It's a lot easier to hit him when he's on you, because then he can Yeah, no, 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 right. Good shot in... No, come on! Uh, oh. uh, I, get the <laughs> I love us all <laughs> flying through him and missing him. Where is he? Yeah. Oh, God. Hey, this I, hope, I hope someone's got good this job. on the Good job! Hey. Nice. It's the race. He's going to get it. <laughs> oh, mid-air catch! Pearl, good was it good? Did you? Ah. Oh. I don't know. I think... I, I got know. the skull. I thought... After successfully defeating the Withers and taking care of that problem for the server, uh, Exuma 
messaged me and said he wanted to meet with me about something. So I met up with him, and here's what happened. I feel like I'm in a void world right now, but that's not where I am, is it, Wells? No. Nope. Where are Welcome to my created super flat, not to be confused with a creative super flat. Got ya, got ya. Um, it does kind of look like you might have built this in creative mode, but that's not how Hermitcraft works. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is most definitely my floating island in the sky. Yeah, this looks like it, you know, took a chunk of your sanity to build. Uh, that's a little <laughs> bit of an understatement, but yeah. An understatement. Wow, how many hours you put into this then? Uh, I don't know, but it took me about a week and a half. Wow. Oh, it's so good how you can fly through this middle area. Yep, that's also going to uh, change pretty soon, actually. This is where my storage room is going to go. And it's going to nice. be like uh, big kind of tunnels with the storage room in the center. Oh, it's so cool. I love it, and I can't wait to see what you're going to do here. But, my friend, I I've got an, an offer, an opportunity for you. Okay. I think you're going to love. Okay. I'm always intrigued by offers and opportunities. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm sure you've heard about this already because everyone has been talking about the derp coin, right? Have you seen these floating around? Uh, not really. What? What do you mean, not really? I, uh, well, I mean, not, coin. I mean, not really. Oh, okay. Like, did I stutter? Oh. You did not. Let, let, let me explain. This right here is replacing diamonds on Hermitcraft, okay? There is a, an economy emerging that you could be a part of. These things, are, you know, they're selling, people are buying, they're trading. It's it's a good thing. And I want you to join me. It's trademark. On this adventure. It is, exactly. Authentic trademark. Is that? I, I don't know, man. Mm. Maybe, maybe you need to give me, like, a more detailed rundown. Because, like... Why do, do we need to Tell replace what, diamonds? Wells. I don't know the answer to that question, but follow me, and I'm sure you'll be impressed. Okay. So, Wells, what you see around you here is one of the most glorious places on the server. It's like our own economic area for shopping that's slowly expanding. We've got Jevin joining the crew, Vintage Beef is joining as well, and I want you to join us and partake on this adventure as well. Okay. Mm. Why, though? I just feel like you're the right person for this, you know? I'm just... I guess I'm still just a little confused. Like, you're saying we got derp coin, mm -hmm. And that it's replacing diamonds. Exactly. But, like, why is it replacing diamonds? Well, people people are just interested in the derp coin. It's an alternative currency, you know? It's an alternative currency. Don't, it's an alternative, and we don't have to use diamonds forever, do we? Well, I mean, I, I suppose mean, that's true. What was there before diamonds? People used to trade with gold and iron, then diamonds became the standard, and this is the future I hear. The derp coin. I mean, look at it. It's glorious. I suppose. What's the exchange rate on diamonds to derp coin? It's like three diamonds for 32, if you get it on a good day. So it fluctuates? Yeah, it goes up and down. That sounds a little... sketchy. It's... it's not that bad. I mean... You, I'm not convinced, my friend. <laughs> okay, what do I need to do to convince you? Well, like, I'm, I'm just not really seeing the reasoning for this here. Like, we've had diamonds forever, they've worked well, everything's been great, and, you know, it's easy to understand. You've got X amount of diamonds for X amount of items, and now, like... You're yeah. talking about replacing it with a currency that isn't even always worth the same amount? Wells, uh, you th you're thinking like a dinosaur, okay? You're like an old man stuck in his ways. This is the future. The derp coin is going to replace. It may not make sense now, but it'll all make sense one day. Look, I'll even give you I'll even give you the rest of these derp coins right here to get started. I mean, that is a lot of value. You can now take these into the shop, start to trade with them. Get yourself some iron. There's a flash sale on at the moment. One moment. Okay. You take your nap. I had to sleep on it, you know? I see. I um, see. <laughs> I don't, 
man, I don't know. It it's just a little. It sounds a little. Um, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, but I'll tell you what, man. You and I, we go back a pretty long way. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna take your word for that for it, and okay. uh, we'll we'll give it a try and see how it goes. Mm-hmm. You'll love it. Trust me, my dude. Look, come over here, build and set up a shop, right with the derp coin, and I tell you, the riches will start coming your way. Okay, I'll 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 trust you on this. Awesome. Sounds like a deal. Shake on it. Sure. How does one shake in Minecraft? Punch. Yep. Good stuff. Very. All good. right, Wells. You're you're officially a part of the crew. Okay. Sounds good. Beautiful. Now what? Uh, build build a shop. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I I can do that. Well, if we're gonna get into the derp coin market, we should probably set up a shop here at the evil. Emporium. I, I don't know how I feel about the whole evil part in the name, but hey, it's fine. Oh, hello. Uh, how's it going, Exuma? Um, yeah, so we're going to set up a shop. I think we're going to build it right here, and I think I have all of the materials I need as well to build this whole thing, and just an empty chest because you always end up with random clutter. So without further ado, let's do it as a time lapse. my friends, I hope you enjoyed that time lapse. We've got our shop built here, and uh, if you haven't guessed from the shop, we're going to be selling special books in here. I'm not going to go into too much detail, and we're not going to stock it quite yet in this episode. I'm going to probably do it between episodes, but I'll give you the rundown uh, next episode. Either way, I really like this build. It turned out pretty well. Uh, so yeah, lots of bookshelves and wood and themes and fits the whole aesthetic of uh, the rest of the area over here. So that's basically the build. We should probably do like a fly around so you can see the upper bits of it a little bit. So yeah, just a pretty solid sort of... Uh, I guess I'd probably classify it as like Victorian. It's like a like a gothic Victorian style shop. But anyway, uh, so yeah, that's this. Now, Joe said that he wanted to meet up with me about something. So let's head over there. Howdy, Wells. Hang on, I fell in a flower. Hello, Howdy, Wells. Wells. What's up? Not much. You know, I've got this IOU here. Uh, that I won in that auction, uh, courtesy Horsehead Farms, and I had a project I thought, you know, maybe you would be uh, well-suited for. Well, I didn't know that the IOU would end up with somebody else, but uh, I'm open to maybe helping out with something. What do you need? Awesome. Well, why don't you just follow me this way? Tell me, um, when you did give the IOU, what were you expecting to have to trade later? 
Well, I don't know. It was like uh, three diamonds worth of stuff, I think. So, you know, maybe like three diamonds worth of stuff. Okay, okay. So in terms of three diamonds worth of stuff, uh, as you can see, we've been trying to build kind of a medieval village kind of thing around here. Um, one thing that I've been working on, which is not medieval yet, is this flower farm up here. Okay. It is just purely at this point mechanical and hideous. Um, so if you join me up here... You can see I've got some exposed redstone that I can use to automate turning it on. Um, and basically, the way it works is there's bone meal underneath the ground here in dispensers. And then there's water. And basically, you just sit on this horse, and the horse gets pushed around by the water, and you collect the stuff. Okay. Um, what I was thinking is... Um, you don't need to come in and change anything about the mechanisms other than maybe to conceal them, uh, but visually updating this building to, like, maybe better suit the area, um, kind of giving it more of a medieval look to it, if that makes any sense. So basically you want to cover up the redstone and make it look pretty. Yeah, yeah, and, and you would basically be able to pull in whatever you wanted in terms of, you know, block palette or whatever. If there's stuff that you would need, um, you know, I could even possibly provide the materials. As you can see, there's a bunch of different buildings around that all have slightly different pallets, but, um, you know, so it'd be, it'd be open to whatever you wanted to do. Okay. Uh, so, you know, that's, that seems worth about three diamonds, maybe, maybe. Uh, I'd say it's worth, like, three diamonds, maybe, if you, like, provide all the resources. Okay. So, how about this? Um, if you want to go ahead and, and brainstorm on this and let me know what resources you need, I can go ahead, take that resource sheet you get me, and uh, put them all in a chest for you here, and then uh, get, you can get started at your convenience. Yeah, that should work. I'm thinking, let's see, so you got, like, dark oak, basalt... I mean, these were just temporary. This is what I had the most of in my chests because I knew that I was going to rip this down and make it look pretty later. Yeah, I was probably, trying to enclose it. I'll probably just, like, do an extra wall on the outside of this mm -hmm. to sort of cover it up and then maybe, like, a thing over here. So, like, you know what? Let's just keep it super simple. Uh, sure. Lots of spruce. Maybe some oak and dark oak. Mm -hmm. And then some stone and andesite and cobble. Spruce, oak, dark oak, stone, and andesite. I've got a lot of that already pretty handy. Um, so yeah, I, I can get that together, and then uh, you can just swing by here and work on it at your convenience. I'll go ahead and I'll put all of those materials kind of out of the way, like down the hill here. Like, I'm gonna, I'll put a scaffold marker in. Like, basically, I'll just set up a chest here with everything. Yeah, that Sound sounds good? good. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Wells. Yeah, no problem. Well, it looks like we have our projects for next episode. We're going to have to do some stuff for Joe. And also, I haven't really gotten much done <laughs> with our base up here. I still need to turn this into our new and improved storage room and put some portals in here. So that's probably what we'll tackle next episode. But unfortunately, guys, I am out of time for this episode, and this one is long overdue, as I said at the beginning of the episode. I, I need to get this thing edited and out to you guys, because uh, it's just, it's been, a, 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 hopefully it was worth the wait. Anyway, guys, uh, that's going to do it. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. The link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.